Welcome to the Pro Kitchen Moldings, Toe Kicks, and Light Rails tutorial. Applying moldings to your designs in Pro Kitchen software can be done automatically and manually, so in this tutorial, I'll demonstrate both me methods. Let's get started. You can automatically place your top moldings, light rail moldings, toe kicks, and molding lights all at once by utilizing the tools found in the ribbon under the C Tops and Moldings tab at the top. Click the Molding Settings and Lighting Settings icons to view and set your moldings and molding lightings for your design. The options that appear in these settings boxes are brought in from the options you have set in your design settings underneath the Moldings tab. Checking the box next to each option will enable it and then you can select your catalog and product using the drop down fields for each option. For molding lighting, you can check the box to enable the option, then choose a product from Pro Kitchen's custom lighting catalog and set the distance between the lights and then the light's watt intensity as well. Once your settings are determined, use the Add All icons for lighting and moldings to place and apply your molding lights and moldings throughout your design. Use your elevation views to check and make sure everything plays properly. If you wish to remove or add just one molding or molding lighting to or from a certain cabinet, simply click on the cabinet to select it and then click on the add one or remove one icons. Since molding lights are typically hidden by the moldings, it's a good idea to place those first so you can see where they are placed in your elevation views before the moldings get applied. To manually place moldings, simply find the moldings you wish to apply in your catalog panel, then click, drag, and drop it on top of your cabinets. The molding will automatically cover any of the adjoining cabinets. This method can be used to stack moldings too. Simply apply your first molding and then click, drag, and drop the other one on top of it and it will automatically stack directly on top of your already applied molding. Additional editing of moldings can be done by utilizing the tools found in its right-click toolbox. Click to select the molding, then right-click on it and select its SKU from the submenu. Drag allows you to move the molding left or right while tethered to the cabinet. Move allows you to move the moldings in the design while keeping its dimensions. Rotate will allow you to rotate the selected molding. In slash out allows you to move the molding in or out while tethered to the cabinet. Up slash down allows you to move the molding up or down while tethered to the cabinet. Replace will open the catalog dialog to allow you to choose a different molding SKU. Delete will remove the selected molding and change color will open up the catalog dialog to switch to or create a copied catalog and change the style of the selected molding. Edit will put the molding in edit mode, allowing you to edit the position of the edges and radius points of the molding. And then attributes will open the attributes box um, and allow you to change the settings of the molding. And that's it. 
Now you can easily finish off the little details of your designs with the perfect moldings.